Sable's resignation comes at a time where Democrats hold just a one seat majority in the Pennsylvania State House. And with special elections scheduled to fill now two vacant seats, the balance of power could shift once again in Harrisburg. Fox 43's Matt Klein is joining us now with what's at stake in the upcoming May primaries. Well, Evan, on March 17th, the Democratic House majority will sit at 101 to 100 seats in the state house following Zabel's resignation. However, an upcoming special election in House District 108, which is a Republican leaning district, could even that tally at 101 seats, meaning that Mike Zabel's empty seat could make a difference between a Republican and Democratic House majority. Which party will control the Pennsylvania State House? That is still the question after suburban Philadelphia State Representative Mike Zabel resigned following numerous accusations of sexual harassment. There was clearly a pattern of behavior um, and it's not something that we um, want to see happening in the government. Political science professor Jean Harris says Zabel's resignation puts the balance of power in question for House Democrats. With a special election to fill outgoing Republican Linda Schlegel Culver's seat occurring in May, Zabel's seat could determine if Democrats maintain a slim majority in the House. The balance is so slim in the House that things could change and we've already gone through. We're now on our second speaker. <laughs> Harris adds that voter turnout could be critical for the special elections. With the closed primary in the state of Pennsylvania, voting turnout during primaries are usually not great. And if you have a special election that's not during the primary, so its own election, I think that is going to have a, a, you know, also harm voter turnout. Regardless of the results, the Pennsylvania legislator will still remain divided, making passing legislation difficult for Governor Shapiro. Because of the divided government, the Senate uh, majority being Republican, it's already a tough road to hoe for him. Now, House Speaker, Speaker Joanna McClinton is required to give at least 60 days notice for a special election. A date has not been announced as of tonight. However, the timing of Zabel's resignation means that May 16th primary would comply with the special election guidelines. Matt Kleindens, Fox 43 News.